Chief Minister Konrad Sangma announced today that the state government has received a response from the government of India regarding the Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act. Speaking to reporters, the chief minister informed that the government is currently discussing how to proceed further. He also mentioned that he will provide more information on the matter on the floor of the House. The five-day autumn session of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly commenced today here in Shillong. So, uh, number one is that uh, ILP is already the, the, in the government of India's domain. We have passed a resolution which was not done before. And um, so the seriousness of the government is seen in that, number one. And uh, number two, regarding the MRSSA, we are waiting, for, um, we got the response from the government of India and now we are discussing in the state government how to proceed. Uh, that IRP is a mechanism in place to address um, illegal immigration and concerns of the people. There are other mechanisms that could also be there. So therefore, whatever mechanism uh, suits and addresses the concerns, so IRP is not the concern. Concern is illegal immigration and infiltration and People feel that ILP or some stakeholders feel that ILP can help in uh, addressing those concerns. There are other ways also and that's why we introduced the MRSSA and other mechanisms. So uh, we feel that uh, discussions is, are on. Uh, stakeholders have mentioned that these are conditions. So let us see how it goes along. We will we will keep engaging and we'll try to resolve this. Issue. He also addressed questions related to proposals for railway projects in the state. I, my, my take is the same as it was before, that obviously uh, from a development perspective we all would want to see that uh, railway should come to a capital and it would improve the overall connectivity, it would improve trade, economic, economy and uh, so on and so forth. But then there are challenges, there are concerns and the different stakeholders have different concerns and therefore we would like to carry everybody along. So obviously we, no one is giving up on it, no one is saying that we're going to shelve it, shelve it off. But the issue is that there are funds lying for certain project. If you're not able to move in a particular project, then we can exercise and use the funds in a different project is what we're saying. But that does not mean that we close the first one. Since if the first one is not moving, well, we'll move with a different option. Uh, but at the same time, we'll continue to discuss and, um, you know, and engage different stakeholders and try to find an amicable way in which we can proceed with the project as it is something that is good for the state and can be done in a phase-wise manner. Uh, so all options are open. So the NF people are correct that there's no question of closing it, but there's no question of forcing either. Um, I use the words very, very clearly. I said there is a first project is there. We are facing some hurdles. There are constraints and we need to address those uh, concerns that are there. It's taking time. In the meantime, certain funds were parked for a certain project. Uh, since it's not moving forward, obviously Government of India will ask a question that how long will you keep this money? So either we give it back or we divert it to another project within the state itself and try to utilize that money so that it doesn't go to waste. And hence we are exercising and trying to find out if there are other regions in the state who would be open to the idea of a railway. And that exercise has started and I have uh, expressed the same to the railway minister also. The railway minister himself has told me that he is open to that idea. And uh, therefore we will examine it from that angle and uh, see if there are other projects that we can move forward in. And if it's there, then uh, we'd like to uh, do that. Uh, otherwise, as I said, it will be lost for the state in terms of finances as the money has uh, already come in for a certain part of the railway. They, they are, of course, they are, and anybody would be, especially this government has been very uh, aggressive in terms of development, and they are, but at the same time they have understood the challenges at the local level, and I have made them understand that since it is for the betterment of the people, and uh, it is uh, the society as a whole, we need to carry everybody along, and uh, let's discuss and uh, uh, you know, create a consensus, address the concerns that they have, find a way, and then move forward to the project.